Greetings, everybody. So what I got here, this is a Henrik Sedin picture that I bid on from the, the Canucks uh, auction, so game day auctions. And uh, the interesting thing is they didn't actually have a picture. All it said was Henrik Sedin alternate signed. And so I thought, well, yeah, all right. And so I made the initial bid, and I got it. I got it. Right here. So this is straight from the Canucks store. And uh, comes along with the doohickey to attach it to the wall. Yeah, no, it's officially called a doohickey. And uh, so this is this is going to be going on the wall. But yeah, so they, they did send it. They did get an email back saying, yeah, no, we see now that you, you paid for it. So just as an update. And I've got the other item coming as well. So what I'm intending to do is revamp this as soon as possible um because if you're not refreshing the set then how's anybody gonna know what year it is when they load up a video they go oh that's when he had that pennant there and of course the hall of fame pennant that's there there's other things i got from the hall of fame which uh, i'm going to be throwing into the background as well uh, nice plaques and all of that i just i haven't been able to put them up and if you're not going to make sure that they're they're properly affixed you're going to be dealing with the situation where you're making a video and then all of a sudden one crashes off the wall and while people might say that's a very entertaining idea for a video i'm not going to argue it's not um i i'd rather not see them crash off the wall so yeah that's that's going to be coming in the the near future especially now that we're down to one game a day in the nhl you get asked a lot about which junior jerseys that I have. And the answer is not very many. I have the Edmonton Oil Kings, which I did buy. I got this from Lids for like 60 bucks. That's before Fanatics bought it. Much like I got this one for about 60 bucks as well. Prince George Cougars. So Cougars and Oil Kings. And uh, I, these were two jerseys that really stood out to me as being pretty sharp. I, I do like this. Um, I like the neon green. Uh, the neckline doesn't bother me too much on these. And uh, they're both adult-sized small. No, no, this is a large. I can only get this in a large. This one's size small. So they're different sized, but uh, not too shabby. And that's the extent of my WHL jerseys. Oh, yes, the Southern Pro Hockey League. This is the Mississippi uh, River Kings, who uh, don't exist anymore. Uh, and it's too bad because I, I, I do like the jersey design. I do like the... The M on the shoulders. I think it's it's not too bad. It's kind of sharp. And the, the the stripes, yeah, it borrows a bit from Boston and Pittsburgh. But what are you gonna do? Um, I I do like this one. This one I actually got from a subscriber, uh, who sent it to me when I started covering the the Southern Pro League, doing an update a week. And um, at some point I'll I'll get back into that kind of a thing again. But uh, yeah, so this one this was especially if the NHL is closed and every other leagues are all the other leagues are going. Then yeah, I can do news from all the other leagues sure but uh uh this one it, it is too bad that 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 team did go under but that's that's the trick with hockey teams in mississippi is being able to make enough money to stay above water and then for people asking what shan i'm wearing this is actually a just for laughs jer jersey that thanks ricardo for sending that to me uh, i have an excuse to wear that today it's it's actually got suban and 76 on it so that being said <clears throat> and the thanks for that and all Here's my Abbotsford Heat jersey, which I got not too long ago. Uh, this is a size small. And, uh, yeah, uh, I, I had to because, you know, even though they're they're not the Abbotsford Heat anymore, they're Stockton, I, I have to have, you know, an Abbotsford jersey. It just felt wrong when I realized, you know, I, I should probably have one of those. It's sort of like I never did have a Chilliwack Bruins jersey, and on some level I, I still regret not having a Chilliwack Bruins jersey. I don't have a Chiefs jersey either. I should probably look at remedying that because that that just doesn't that doesn't that doesn't seem right. But anyways, yeah, Abbotsford Heat AHL. I will go through my AHL and ECHL jerseys, um, including a, a one that I got through uh, um, uh, Michael Bublé. But most of the Bublé jerseys I won't cover in this video because I already did a video covering those ones. So Rochester, Rochester Americans. I discussed this before in a video. Uh, Rochester Americans and all the, the, the wonders of, of, of this jersey and all the history behind it. And of course the, the Phantoms, the Philadelphia um, farm team. And what I like with the Phantoms is that it says Phantoms on the back of the neck. I am easily pleased when it comes to jerseys and this one's pretty sharp. This one I love. So this one, of course, brand new, just got it. Um, because AHL had a has been having a 10% off sale 
since they canceled their the rest of their season. And the Griffins, what's really nice with this is the gold. You know, that shows the, the shininess of the gold on it. Really, really, really nice. Um, Griffins, I'm, I'm really glad I got this. this. Again, when I was looking on the site, I thought, all right, well, I'll get two. And Griffins, to me, immediately stood out. And then I was like, well, which other one am I going to get? I really like the GRG on the shoulder here. Honestly, this is this is kind of the sort of look we kind of wanted with Seattle when they went with Kraken, some kind of a, a, a mythical beast kind of thing, and then they went with the S, which uh, it seemed anticlimactic at the time. We'll see whether or not that grows on me, but uh, this this is sharp. Iowa. So this was the other one that I got this month, which is the Iowa Wild, because I, I like it. It's nice. It's simple. I know it's a word mark, which I don't normally uh, purchase, they also have a beige one that's a word mark that, that has uh, Iowa on it, which I've thought about, but eh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't have a beige jersey, but I don't think I'm going to be going to Iowa anytime soon. It's just nice to have. One thing with having these jerseys is that there are, are subscribers to the channel, especially across the U.S., that uh, um, I, I know are in locations um, that aren't thought of as being hockey hotbeds, Iowa. And so it's it's kind of nice to have a jersey that I could wear in a video where people are like, hey, that's right near where I am. And so uh, Iowa, it, it is a sharp jersey too, though. It is. Uh, this shows that you can make a word mark jersey that's really, really nice. It It's huge. The word wild is huge, bigger than my head. But uh, it, it is, it, it is uh, it's nice. The stripes on it are solid. Really, CCM jerseys can be quite nice. Uh, they were the Lake Erie Monsters. Uh, now they're the Cleveland Monsters. This one I got from a subscriber um, who, you know, um, I was very grateful when I got this. This, this honestly, this is a really sharp one, of course, Columbus on the shoulder there. Um, I do like it. It's simple. It's more simple than the Griffins one that I showed you a couple jerseys ago. But it still, it brings across a very similar idea. And again, Seattle, there, there, are, there are ways to do this. Anyway, 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 we'll see what Seattle's jersey looks like next summer. Now, I know there's people who are going to say, well, we know what Seattle's jersey is going to look like, but until you see them in person, it's different. Uh, this is Providence Bruins, of course, because I get asked every now and then, do you have a Providence Bruins? Yes. And again, uh, this was sent to me via subscriber. Um, as I wasn't actively buying AHL jerseys for a while, just every now and then one would show up in either this post office box here or the one in the States, which we still do not have access to. And I, I don't think we're going to have access to the American post office box for a while. But uh, yeah, this one, uh, Providence, sharp, nice jersey. Um, and, and again, the striping is, is almost identical uh, all the way around to what Boston had not that long ago. So uh, nobody's going to ask any questions about, um, well, which team is that supposed to be? Well, it's Boston's. I usually say, well, it's a Bruins logo. But what happened is I dropped part of the B. I can't find it. I guess I could do that. Anyways, Providence. Yeah, you're right. I do have at least one more WHL jersey. Good for those who are trying to correct me while I'm talking on the video, and you're not. I'm not actually able to hear you. So Newfoundland Growlers. Uh, this is one of those ones I had to have because um, my father's side of the family is in Newfoundland, and uh, it's nice to have a Newfoundland Growlers jersey. I uh, got the hat as well. A lot of the AHL teams I don't have hats to match, but I figure I can wear the NHL hat. This one, Toronto doesn't really match the jersey, so I had to get the hat as well. And uh, yeah, I, I like the I like this a lot. This logo is really really fantastic, and uh, I always always hope that a team in St. John's is going to last. Um, and a lot of teams that have gone through St. John's, and I, I hope the Growlers are the ones that stick around because you know champions and all that. And uh, it is it is a really nice this this would be a nice NHL jersey to be honest. And Growlers proves that you can have a, a kind of a, a cool new name. Other people haven't heard before, even though it's basically dogs, the Newfoundland dogs, but it's growlers. And uh, it's not a Newfoundlander dog because Newfoundlander dogs don't have the eyes like they don't. They're very friendly. Um, when I was a little kid, there was a, a Newfoundlander uh, dog that came into our yard and it was twice the size of me. And I patted it. It was all nice. I remember, oh, mom, look, I found this dog. And she, oh, my God, get away from the dog. She was so terrified. I was, he was fine. I was ready to ride his back. But uh Again, I understood. I understand now why she was afraid, but at the age of three, all I knew was this big fluff ball coming into our yard, just, you know, size of a small horse, and just all friendly, like, "Hey, look, there's a kid all by himself," and uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, Newfoundlander. 
And and no, it's not pronounced Newfoundland. God, I hate when people say Newfoundland. So for everybody who always corrects me on on pronunciation, yeah, I I tend to do that as well. Uh, Newfoundland people don't say it right. Uh, Texas, Texas Stars. So of course, this is Dallas's farm team. Yeah, I bought this one. Um, I think I did, didn't I buy this one? I think I did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I bought this one through through their site. Um, this is one of the ones that I got because I know there were a few that I got myself. And uh, I, I would like to have the white one, but the white one on their site is uh, is only available. I think it's in an extra large. And I was like, that sounds roomy. I don't need that kind of room. And I don't intend to need that room again. Ever. So uh, this one here, this one's, a, this one's a medium. So it's still a little roomy for me. But uh, I do find that the AHL jerseys fit a little more snugly than the NHL ones. I do find that they're they're more made to fit rather than some of the NHL jerseys that you get. Texas Stars, though, again, it's nice, it's sharp. It's a similar design to what the Dallas Stars have right now, but the striping is different and it's it's unique and it's it's really kind of cool. And again, it's just it's it's a natural fit to have the Dallas Stars, the Texas Stars. I like it. So this is the Ontario Rain, the team that when they came in, I was confused because I'm like, which part of Ontario? Why does it just say Ontario? And then I realized that's a town in California. So um, Ontario Rain, uh, I got this one via a subscriber because somebody else gave me a jersey. I'll show you guys later. And he said, hey, you can't just have that. So he sends me the Rain jersey uh, because he didn't want me to wear the other one as much. Uh, which okay, that's that's fine. Of course, this is the LA Kings farm team, and doesn't doesn't that look nice with a black colored logo? Kings could do a black colored logo and have Kings and silver. It would look really sharp. So, just saying, uh, you could you could have a lot of fun with all of the various logos the LA Kings have had over the the decades and decades. They've had tons of different logos, but this one I like. It's really really sharp. This is the other WHL shirt. This is of course the. Uh, Vancouver Giants. I got this one not very long ago. Uh, no, I didn't get it through my friend. He didn't buy it for me. Uh, and and I, I didn't ask him because that would seem weird. Um, hey, I know you're part owner of the Giants. Can I get a jersey? No. Uh, so I bought this one through um, Jersey Baron on eBay. And uh, this is this is a, a sharp jersey. I, I like them a lot. Uh, they have a third jersey as well that I really, really want. But I ended up wanting to pay full price for the, the third that they had, but we'll see. And the Victoria Royals have a really nice third jersey as well that I'd like to get. So I'm not necessarily ruling out other WHL at some point, but I'm pretty sure, looking at this rack, I'm pretty sure this is the last of the WHL jerseys. Out of the ECHL, the Orlando Solar Bears. Yes, I have a Solar Bears jersey. This was sent to me by a subscriber as well. I think it was like two, two, maybe almost three years ago now that I got this one. But this one's in pretty pristine condition. And it's, again, it shows you can make some really cool creative jerseys. There are some some uh, creators and some designers in the minor leagues who honestly should be working at the NHL level. And on punching up jerseys, make them a little different. I know this may be a little bright and a little too um, pastel for some people's tastes, but it's different. It's something that's different and it's kind of fun. And uh, yeah, I like the Orlando Solar Bears jersey. So someday when I come to Florida, I can bring this with me someday when the world's opened up again so if you like chicago wolves i got both i got the white one and i got the red one there's a third they've had too that i don't have but um i do have chicago wolves i have a hat as well for the chicago wolves and uh they're nice jerseys again they're they're definitely an independent team and in that you don't see a logo of an nhl team on their shoulder and if you have a partnership, they're they're going to have the final say on what the roster looks like in all likelihood. But uh, this one's this one's interesting too because it says right here ninety four Rosemont Hockey Partners LP. This one does not have that on it. So that's kind of interesting. It's got the stitching here. And uh, yeah, subscriber sent me these. Uh, are they both large? This one's a medium. This one's a large. So minor difference between the two. Uh, this one's a starter. Uh, the one behind it's a Reebok. So, uh, yeah, uh, Chicago Wolves, I'm all covered. So if I ever go to Chicago, I've got Hawks, I've got Wolves, I'm I'm covered. This, of course, is the team that's uh, that's no longer going to be. This is San Antonio. See the bull on one shoulder, and then there's the Spurs logo on the other. Uh, very sharp jersey. I got this one from, yes, yep, 
So it's got that number on the back, a 19, because he toured through there in 2019, is my guess. And uh, yeah, it's it's a, a nice jersey. It's a size large. It's a CCM. Again, the necklines, they seem to change the neckline a little bit every year. Or maybe it's just when I've been collecting them, the neckline just changes here and there. Uh, but Sharp Jersey, it's a shame this team's now you know gone. They were moved to Henderson to become the Silver Knights. The, at least the jersey color is going to be very similar, right? And it's not going to make anybody who uh, cheered for this team feel any better. But uh, yeah, so San Antonio. And right now on, on the AHL site, they, they do have a gray version of this jersey on clearance. I've thought about getting that. But uh, again, I, I don't know how, how well that's going to age or if we're going to go to Texas. I'm trying to think like of when the world opens again, where we're going to go. But at least I have this one. All right, so we're going to discuss the Utica Comets next. This is pretty simple. I got this one through the store because it was on for cheap because CCM changed the neckline. See what I mean? The, the neckline changes multiple times. Um, so, yeah, this one's sharp. Again, there's no numbers or names on these. This one, Hershey Bears. Thank you, Dave. Uh, Dave sent this to me. This is, I guess, in exchange for me giving Yvonne a raise. Uh, Hershey Bears is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. Nice deep brown uh, with beige accents here and white on it. It's just, it's really, really nice. So it's it's great to have a Hershey Bears jersey. And uh, one of the, the most storied franchises in the American Hockey League, right? And then also sent to me, so gifted to me, and I, I, you know, that's fantastic. Colorado Eagles and, of course, Avalanche on one sleeve and the Colorado State flag on the other. And uh, not too shabby. And again, shows that, you know, the Avs could, could make a really sharp, fun jersey logo design. You know, something different. I do like these these necks. These are, th this neckline that the CCMs do in the AHL, I think that's actually kind of cool. Um, notice it doesn't have to say AHL here because the AHL isn't as um, insecure as the NHL. Yeah, so there's those three. All right, I think I've got the last of them. So remember I mentioned that I got that Orlando, or Orlando, Ontario rain uh, because of, this is the because of, because I have the San Diego Gulls, and I have a San Diego Gulls hat as well. I have an Ontario rain hat as well. Um, this, of course, Ducks. Uh, really like the colors on this. San Diego teams I've always had an affinity for, whether it's in football, I, and I know they moved to LA and 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 in baseball as well. The Padres are my favorite. I, I don't know. I can't explain it other than I have a Padres jersey, so I'm not doing baseball jerseys today. Uh, but yeah, so San Diego Gulls. There's the Utica Comets green, which proves what we've always known in Vancouver land, which is that the Vancouver Canucks could have a fantastic looking green jersey. They just they've never done it, and uh, this is this is why they should. Uh, this is such a, a fantastic jersey. Again, I got this one on clearance from the, the, the AHL website. They still have some on clearance, too. Um, this is my Manitoba Moose. I have a blue one as well, which... Hurry, fixed it. Uh, so this is the Manitoba Moose. This is what they, they used to wear. Uh, really, really like these colors. This is, of course, the one that I thought San Jose might have borrowed a little bit from when they switched their their stripes around and some of their colorings and i thought eh, it looks kind of manitoba moosish of them which is fine because uh the moosish is the word uh the the sharks i always thought had one of the nicest jerseys in the league anyways uh but then of course the winnipeg jets come back so the moose's coloring changes in order to uh, represent the jets and i agree it looked better before but it's still pretty sharp uh this this one I got through, so the, the white Winnipeg, uh, or Winnipeg, Manitoba Moose, I got through Jersey Baron on eBay. This one I got through SportsK, uh, so SportsK.com, they had a clearance on these. I think they still have the white one on clearance as well. And then the last one I wanted to show you guys is uh, this. I have a few different Humboldt ones, so I'm going to go ahead and show this one. Uh, this is a Humboldt Broncos jersey that, uh, that I got a couple of years back. And on the back, its uh, number is Hints and 18. Uh, Brody Hints, of course, was a subscriber to the channel who was on the bus at the uh, at the time of the crash and, and did not survive said crash. So I do still have this in the collection. It is still over here. 
I know I don't wear it in videos. There aren't very many opportunities I would have to wear Humboldt stuff. Honestly, the further out we get from that, the more likely I am to wear this in videos. Um, and uh, it, it is it is a sharp jersey. So, um, and, and this one here, with hints on it, I got this. I, I believe that's the one that I bought. I know that there's three different ones. I know there's one that um, moderators to the on, on Discord had put together money for it to get for me. And there was a third that was sent to me by subscribers. So I have a lot of Humboldt stuff, uh, three different jerseys. And uh, it is it, it is one of those things that it was at a time where the, the channel was still growing. And thanks to that, and thanks to what came out of that, we were having meetups. Sadly, we didn't have meetups this summer, not with the channel because of uh, everything that's going on globally. And uh, hopefully we get back into those next summer and I can I can wear this to a meetup next summer. That'd be nice. Um, and and there is one thing I want to mention as well. Um, when we've when we've done the the Brody Hints tournament in in April's, which we didn't have this year again because of everything closing down, um, there were people who've asked, well, why doesn't Shannon wear the the Humboldt jerseys when he goes to the meetups? Um, you know, when he for for the Brody Hints tournament, why doesn't he wear the Hints jersey? And, and the reason that I gave, and I still give, is simple. This channel is not about me. It's about people watching this. And when I have meetups, it's not about me. It's about the community. So I am perfectly fine wearing a, a just a regular everyday jersey, blending in with everybody else, and, you know, taking the same shots and hits as everybody else during the game. And, and it's it's just, it's it's a fun event. And so I don't make it about, you know, Shannon's wearing the, the Humboldt jersey because again, then it's kind of me. So that way, I, when we're when we we post videos to the channel, when we did post videos to the channel of the meetups last year, the year before, and whatnot, um, I may not even be in some of the videos. It might be everybody else playing. I might be off for that shift, and uh, it really is about building the community. So to people who are parts of this community who have helped me, uh, either you know with the jersey collection part where they're like hey you know i got this for cheaper i have this laying around or you know i want to support you and i this is a way i'm doing it that's greatly appreciated um and and uh it is it is one of those humbling things that over the years i've done my best to stay the same throughout to to keep the product exactly the same the whole way through so if you leave my channel three years ago and you come back now you go eh, it's the same jerk i didn't want to listen to three years ago but he's the same hasn't changed so there you go uh thank you guys so much for all the support um and and there are other jerseys in the collection that i haven't done videos with and at some point i will but uh, that's it for now so let me know your thoughts and that that is it for the ohl i don't have any qmjhl i don't have any of those a whl i have a few and ahl i'm i'm wanting to have you know enough of the ahl so i can talk about the ahl this coming fall because it may very well come back before the NHL. It may be that I'm covering hockey leagues that aren't the NHL. That maybe I am covering the KHL um, once we get into the fall because there's not much going on with the NHL and the KHL is happening. So we'll see. But uh, I look forward to uh, those who are watching this being there, being here then. And uh, thank you guys once again. Uh, it's been an amazing four years. Uh, Yvonne and I celebrated our four-year anniversary of our first date last night. Uh, and, and at the time that I met her, this channel had, had just passed a thousand subscribers. So 1,000 four years ago, and now it's 161,000 and that's thanks to all of you. So thank you guys so much for helping the community grow and I will talk to you again soon.